Hello everyone and welcome to our channel MedStudy. Today in this video we are going to see about surgical examination of sinus and fistula. So let's get started. First of all sinus is a blind tract leading from surface down to the tissues while fistula is a communicating tract between the two epithelial surfaces. Here it shows sinus which is a blind tract while fistula which connects two epithelial surfaces. Now uh, coming to history, the first is duration, second is mode of onset, whether it may be congenital as seen with branchial cyst, following incision and drainage of abscess as seen with perianal fistula, following complete excision of the congenital cyst uh, swelling as seen with thyroglossal cyst. Third is preceding history of swelling, pain and fever, fourth is history of discharge, type of discharge, it might be purulent, mucus, bilious feculent and urine, then any discharge of bony spicules as seen with osteomyelitis, quantity, color and odor of the discharge. Fifth is progress, sixth is any history of pain, seventh is history of fever, eighth is past history of TB, actinomycosis, inflammatory bowel disease or syndrome, history of any operation. Now coming to examination part, the first is inspection. You have to inspect the site of fistula, number of external openings, appearance of external opening, any discharge from external opening and the character and odor of discharge. Then we have to inspect the area adjacent to the opening for swelling, scar, ulceration and pigmentation. Now coming to palpation, we have to palpate for temperature and tenderness around the external opening. You have to palpate the wall of tract whether it is thickened or not. We have to palpate for any swelling adjacent to the sinus or fistula. We have to palpate for any bony thickening adjacent to the opening of uh, fistula or sinus as seen with osteomyelitis. Then we have to do digital rectal examination for perianal fistula in order to assess for presence of any internal opening. Then we have to do pervaginal examination for vesicovaginal and rectovaginal fistula. And the last concluding part is examination of the regional lymph node. So that concludes uh, surgical examination of sinus and fistula. I hope you liked the video. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel and feel free to comment. Thank you.